Hey Siri, what's the temperature right now? It's 18 degrees outside. 18 degrees right now, middle of October. Hi everyone, how are you doing? With winter quickly approaching, you may be wondering if you can fly your DJI Mavic Air 2 in sub-zero temperatures. Well, winter is already here where I live. So I'm gonna give you a first look at the battery and the flight performance of the Mavic Air 2 in very cold temperatures. Welcome back everyone. Nice to have you here again in keeping with the tradition of testing all of my drones in the cold. It's time to evaluate the Mavic Air 2. So here are the cold weather performance measures of all of the other Mavics that I have found so far. Now, I believe I am the first to test the Mavic Air 2 in these conditions because when it was released last April, it was spring and it was really nice out. So like Siri told us right now, it's 18 degrees Fahrenheit here and it's pretty windy. There's probably about a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind. So it's pretty chilly out. So it's not terribly cold. I've tested in much colder temperatures like negative three, but it is well below the recommended flying temperatures from DJI. Now for the most part, all of the other drones that I've tested in cold temperatures, they have done quite well. There's been no performance issues and just slightly less battery life. Now one thing, however, on the Mavic Mini, there was significant jello effect on the video. And I think that's because the gimbal mounts were stiff from the cold. So. Uh, otherwise it performed quite well. Now I do wanna say that I don't recommend flying in these conditions on a regular basis. And the only reason that I do this is so you can all be informed about the limits of your drone. I'll put links in the video description to all of my other drone cold weather tests, as well as up here in the note cards if you wanna watch those after you're done watching this one. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two flights with the Mavic Air 2. For the first one, I'll be using a battery that begins at room temperature. And then the second test, I'll be using a battery that is sitting outside right now. So it's gonna sit outside for about an hour. So it's gonna be a cold battery. Again, I don't recommend this. This is hard on your battery. So it's just me doing a test today. Now for both flights, I'm gonna keep my drone at about hundred foot altitude. I'm gonna to try to fly relatively the same flight path for each test. I will hover for about 30 seconds before each flight just to let the battery warm up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna fly around and bring the battery down to 15% and then hit the return to home and let it come home. And then we'll compare the flight time and the battery temperature and then the percentage of maximum advertised flight time. Like I said, it's pretty windy today, so I don't think it's gonna perform as well as some of the other tests that I've done on the other drones, but at least we'll get to see how it does in cold weather. Now the IMU has been calibrated as well as the compass. I'll be using my iPad Pro 11 inch and the PGY Tech tablet holder today. If you do fly your Mavic Air 2 with a tablet, there is no other tablet holder that you should own. It is the best by far out of any of them that I've tested. Now, even though I won't be recording much footage today, I will have an ND filter on from Freewell because I almost always have one on when I'm flying. So I want it to be consistent to normal conditions. And then finally, at the very end, I'll give you my tips for flying in the cold. They are the same that I've told you over the past three years, but it's always good to be reminded of safe practices. Now, if you have any questions about the flight or the weather conditions or anything at all, let me know down in the comments and I'll respond to most of them. All right, I think that's it. So let's get this bird up in the air and see how it does. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, I'm just gonna fly forwards and backwards into the wind and against the wind, into the wind and with the wind, just back and forth, uh, just to try to keep it consistent. Like I said, I don't wanna vary too much in the flight path. Try to keep it as close as I can between flights. Okay, I'm gonna flip it into sport mode once just to see how it does. Forty two point six miles per hour. All right, we took it down to 11% or 10% battery. So let's take a look and see what the uh, temperature, 33.1 degrees Celsius. And then I'll put the flight time at the end. So let's put the cold battery on now. 
And like I said, this has been sitting outside for about an hour, so we're gonna see uh, if that makes any difference. I don't think it will, especially since I'm gonna let it hover for a little bit uh, before I take off. So yeah, I think it did quite well. So sorry it's boring footage to look at, going back and forth, but, uh, but yeah, let's try the cold battery. Check, check. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, it's not recognizing the that the battery is installed. So, and I've tried it twice and it's not let me take off because it says battery installation error, aircraft unable to take off and sure battery is installed property, properly. So, huh, very interesting. I'm gonna, I'll try it one more time and if it doesn't work, I'll take the battery inside and let it warm up a little bit. All right, so that was very interesting. We'll talk about that in just a second. So here we go with the second battery and we'll just let it hover a little bit. All right, we're at about four degrees Celsius on the battery temperature. Okay, so let's go ahead and fly around just like we did on the first one. So there you have it. Uh, it actually did a little bit better, I think, as far as flight time. I'm not sure, actually. I'll put it up on the screen here. I'll put all of the metrics up on the screen here from the first test with the warm battery, the um, second test with the battery that started cold, and then also I'll put up on the screen here compared to the maximum uh, percentage of flight time uh, as compared to what is advertised maximum flight time. Now, I haven't been getting the advertised flight time on the Mavic Air 2. It's probably the worst one that I've had so far as far as being able to fly what they say it can fly. And so I'm guessing that the percentage is gonna be lower than the other Mavics that I've tested. But the takeaway here, you guys, is something that I didn't realize, is if your battery starts too cold, your Mavic Air 2 will not fly. It will not recognize the battery as being connected properly, and you're not gonna be able to take off. So what I did, as you can see here, I took it in the house, and I just warmed it up a little bit. I just put my hand on top of it and warmed up the battery until it got up to, I can't remember what it was, about three or four degrees Celsius. And then finally, it was able to recognize that I had the battery connected. So it was clipped in properly, but just because it was so cold, it didn't recognize it. So make sure that you keep your batteries warm. And that's probably a safety feature built into those batteries because extremely cold temperatures are very hard on these batteries. And so, I learned something today, so I hopefully you guys did too. So finally, here are my tips for flying in these types of conditions, as I'm sure many of you will be doing over the next coming months as winter comes in, as these cold temperatures uh, approach us. And I've said these before in my other videos, but I'm gonna say them again. Say them again, <laughs> can't talk. So first of all, keep yourself warm, keep yourself safe. That's the most important thing. Frostbite is not fun, I've had it before. So. Keep your head, especially in your fingers, warm. Get some hand warmers if you can. If you're able to, fly inside your vehicle. I fly inside my vehicle all the time in the winter. There's no law against that, but be sure that you maintain visual line of sight. I've had zero connection issues when flying inside my vehicle. On the Mavic Air 2, you can set the controller to be charging your phone as you're flying. I highly recommend doing that because your phone or your tablet battery is gonna drain faster than anything else in these conditions if you're flying outside. Make sure that you don't fly too far away as far as you normally would in warmer temperatures because your battery does drain faster. So just make sure you keep your drone close to you. If your batteries are not at room temperature, if they're a little bit colder, make sure that you hover for 30 seconds at least to get your battery warmed up before you hit full throttle. It will extend the life of your battery. Winter is a great time to fly, you guys. It's a great time to capture some amazing videos and photos. Not right now, everything's brown right now, but as soon as we get some snow, it'll be a little nicer. 
So you just need to change your habits a little bit from flying in warmer temperatures to ensure the safety of yourself and your drone and especially your batteries. You have to protect these batteries. So hit the thumbs up if I helped you in any way today. If I give you any information of value that really helps the channel, helps the video out. Subscribe if this is your first time visiting the channel or maybe it's your second or third time and you haven't subscribed yet. Check out those other cold weather test videos that I've done. I'll put them down in the video description. Have a great day everyone. Stay warm and fly safe and fly smart.